since early this year, we decided to visit in different high school, and that initiative program was to actually going to different school and giving the student the real taste of technology. We actually teaching the student in less than two hours how to write and develop apps. So these students they have their own phones and uploading their app in the phone and showing it to other students, that's actually the game I made today. We want to see that impact. We did two apps today and I, I completed the first one uh, first out of the entire group, which I was really surprised at because I had no previous experience. I thought that was quite hard to get act, act into it, but after today when I found that it, it was really easy to just start off and follow follow these instructions and stuff, I, you know, it's not as hard as I thought to get the main idea of it. I probably make an app to, to scramble your text messages when you receive them, so that you can read them, but it prevents anyone from looking over your shoulder and reading them after you, because, you know, I found that pretty annoying. <laughs> There's these robots here, they've got a few motors, um, they've got some sensors and basically they can either control it with a remote or they use the, these infrared sensors at the bottom to uh, determine where it, when and where it's going to go. The idea is that uh, they open an application on their computer which uh, allows them to program this circuit board here. So a lot of, that's, a lot of it is uh, simple logic like when I press the forward button the motors should uh, move so that the, the robot will go forward or backwards, backwards, sideways, left and right, etc. Um, one of the other ones here, is, as you can see, are these black lines on the table. They're using these infrared sensors. So basically they want to program this thing to autonomously move around the circuit. There's probably a bit of a false image around computing that uh, all you do is sit in front of a computer all day and are writing these lines of code. Um, that can be further from the truth really, there's so many more aspects that come into it. With the App Inventor sessions and this robotics session, we're trying to just uh, broaden their minds a little bit and just to actually see what computing involves, that there's actually so much more out there.